Hello, welcome back to my channel, or welcome. If you're new here, a very, very warm welcome to you. My name's Emily and I'm a knitter, crocheter and very occasional sewer. Today's episode is my Behind the Scenes series, so it's episode four. I am absolutely loving making this series and I really hope that you're enjoying watching them because honestly, they are so much fun. I just, yeah, and I get so much done when I actually sit down and film these videos because it basically dedicates me for the day to projects. Today, however, I am going out at around about half 10, possibly, because we have to go and collect Rob's in the car at 11 o'clock, so that's gonna take a good chunk of the day out. Well, about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. No, it's gonna take longer. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, that is happening today, which I'm very excited about because it means that I get my car back. And as, as you may have judged or assessed from my podcast this week, I'm very excited to get my car back. Yeah, I feel like I've got a bit of cabin, cabin fever. It's, it's ridiculous. You'll have to excuse me, I am extremely tired today. Rob came up last night while I was sleeping and woke me up because here in the UK, the Northern Lights came out. And that is an extremely rare occurrence, especially this far south um, in the UK. So yeah, it was just really nice to get up and go in the garden and just admire and watch the Northern Lights. So that was really, really nice. I have seen them before in Iceland and it was just such a treat to see them here at home, to be honest. the When we saw them in Iceland, they were a lot more green. Last night, they were quite red and pink, which was just absolutely beautiful. Um, there was green and blue in there as well, but oh my goodness, I was so happy to see them. And it just made me happy to think that there were so many people out there in the UK as well who would have gone outside and seen them as well because they are such an incredible thing to see. So yeah, it was just, it was really nice. But obviously it meant that I went to bed really, I got up kind of late and then went to bed about half one, so <laughs> not ideal, not ideal at all. I am very tired, as I say, and I was supposed to go for a run this morning, but I'm postponing that for tomorrow because, yeah, I am extremely tired. Lack of sleep does not sit well on me. I can function, but I tell you what, it's just not, it's not good enough. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna give myself a bit of grace today. I'm gonna do some weights instead and I'll go for my run tomorrow because it's a bit of a longer run tomorrow. So weekends are usually my longer runs. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna have a sip of my tea, hang on. My apologies, I waffled and I did not tell you the format of the episode. So my behind the scenes series of what I do is I will set aside a day where I will just have a crafty day. So I'll write a list, which is here, my to-do list. I will go through the list with you, let you know what I'm planning. I was very ambitious, let me tell you. And then I will just take you through the day, a vlog, a day in the life, if you will, a crafty day in the life. And yeah, it's really good for me, really, really good because it's very productive. Can you tell I'm tired? <laughs> oh my goodness. I got up this morning and I thought, oh, it's like half six. It's, it's seven o'clock now. Got up about half six this morning and I thought, oh my gosh, I look shocking. <laughs> I usually come down and I'll just record as I've just woken up, if you know what I mean. But this morning I thought, no, no, we've got to do something about this. <laughs> so I did my skincare routine this morning, gave my face a bit of love. I don't wear makeup, just FYI. Um, so, you know, what you see is what you get. <laughs> so I make up for the lack of makeup with skincare. I love skincare. I think it's absolutely wonderful. And I try to keep my routine as limited as possible because I don't want to have to. I mean, half the reason I don't wear makeup is because I don't have time. I say I don't have time, I don't want to put the time into doing my makeup. Um, and plus I like my face to breathe, which is a bit ironic because I've just slathered it in moisturiser and I will be slathering it in sun cream when I go outside, so. <laughs> anyway, all that to say, I tried, I tried this morning. <laughs> and I hope, I hope I'm not too puffy or anything, but anyway. Let's get stuck in to the actual crafty content. It is quite the list, let me tell you. So 
here is my to-do list. As you can see, yes, yes, there is a fair amount on the list. There are six items on the list. For a day that I don't have a full day and I didn't get up at my usual time, I usually get up about five, half five-ish. So the fact that I haven't got it, like, I'm already what down two hours, so <laughs> going well today. Let's get jump. Let's 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 try and use proper words and get into the list. The first item on the list is clue four of the puzzle mystery quilt. Now let me scooch you over. Puzzle mystery quilt is by Cotton Cuts and it's absolutely fantastic. I got it. It's usually sent to you in instalments for ten months, I think it is, and they send you an instalment each month. So for me, I because I live in the UK, they're based in the US. They were offering free postage if you ordered the lot and if you ordered and you got the entire quilt shipped to you basically. The instalments are here so here is clue four. They're all packaged up and they're all labelled and everything so they're easy to find. I have no idea what it's going to look like so I see this packet and I have absolutely no idea what it's going to be. All I can see are a couple of the pre-cut pieces. So that's the fantastic thing about the Concurts Puzzle Mystery Quilt is that all the pieces come pre-cut and we just get our lovely instructions which I've got now. Here they are, clue four. And we follow the instructions and we make the clue following the instructions. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty simple, which makes, I find, well, I find it makes quilting a bit more accessible, especially for me because I've not really made a quilt before. Well, I haven't. The only quilting I've done is really a mat for my sewing machine to put on the table. Do you know, I think that's it. I might have done a bit of quilting when I did my cosplaying, but I can't remember. <laughs> I mean, that's a bit advanced really for the level of cosplaying that I did. It was uh, very bodgy, let's put it that way. Um, but anyway, clue four, a puzzle mystery quilt is here. I have also got some more thread, so this should see me through. I don't know if it'll see me through the rest of that. I don't think it will actually. I might have to get some more, but um, at least I've got some that'll cover me for a while. So, clue four, puzzle mystery quilt. I'm gonna do that today. I might do it this morning before we go to the, before we go to pick up the car. Uh, if we've got to leave at half 10, that leaves me two and a half hours. Around about, depends how long this video takes, but yes, <laughs> should leave me about that. Um, Although I kind of want to sit outside and do some knitting for a little bit, so I might do that. I don't know. Anyway, let's carry on with the list. Item number two on the list is finish feathers on wing two of frizzle chicken. So here is the frizzle chicken. This was, this is Calypso, the frizzle chicken, and this was a pattern by Toft. It was their crochet along for spring, which has since finished. Yes, I am extremely behind, but this is why the frizzle chicken have made the list because I really, really want to get this finished. Um, yeah, because <laughs> it's not finished. So what have I got left to do? Obviously I've got to sew these ends in. I mean, it was worse than it is. <laughs> it's just so typical, isn't it, of me? But the feathers, the feathers, my goodness, there are so many ends to sew in on the feathers. I remember one of you put in the comments, good luck with all the ends on the feathers. And you were totally right. There are so many ends. But yes, so this is Calypso the Frizzle Chicken. The last time you saw it, it was missing a leg and a tail, which are now present. They are sewn on. They are back on the bird. And I finished this wing. Obviously, I need to sew these them. But then I need, I've started on this wing in terms of the feathers. feathers. So all I want to do today is just finish, get the rest of the feathers in. That's quite a big ask actually, thinking about it. Um, but yeah, I want to at least make a good dent on the feathers on the bird. So that is the frizzle chicken. The next item on the list is finish sock one of pride socks. So my pride socks are here. This yarn is absolutely gorgeous. It is by the wonderful Fibre Punk and it is Marcus's Progress Pride. I had a moment then. It is Progress Pride colorway and they're absolutely beautiful. These, the pattern is the Horseshoe Falls Socks by Holly Isaac and they have this absolutely beautiful cabling motif down one side of the sock. I really wanted to use this pattern because I really wanted to do the self-striping, my apologies, the yarn is self-striping in case you hadn't noticed. 
um, I really wanted to do a self-striping pair of socks, but I wanted something a little bit extra, and I think this gives it that little bit extra. So I, um, I recognise that the sun is relentless today already, and it's just blowing everything out, but anyway, <laughs> here we are. So these are the socks, and I want to finish them. As you can see, I'm not that far off, really, so I reckon I could do these, to be honest, so that's another plan for today. Next plan, number four, is finish square on sweet shop blanket and pick up for the next. So I am currently on this square here. Hopefully you can see that okay. Oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. So I'm currently on this square here. As you can see, I'm still on the pickup, if you will. Although I've already picked up the stitches, you kind of knit the stitches back and forth as you go. So I've just got to finish off those. Then I need to attach the undyed skein of yarn and then do the square so then it becomes a finished square. And then I've also written that I'd like to pick up for another square. So that's ambitious of me, isn't it? So then I'd need to pick up for this square once this square is done. That is on the Sweet Shop Blanket. Um, the yarn I'm using, this is by Attic Spin Dye and it's their, it was their Beatrix Potter Club that they did. I think they ran it two years in a row. So they ran it last year and the year before, I believe. But yeah, I've been absolutely loving it. This pattern is just gorgeous. You've seen it probably every week because I always work on it. I think the only week I didn't work on it was when the week I went to Bergen, I think. But anyway, back onto the list. Next item, item number five, is to measure and cut out for dress drafting paper. So I have this pattern here. Here we go, this pattern. And I really like this dress. We are coming into summer now and it is extremely hot so I may have a wardrobe change at some point because I'm already boiling and the day has not technically begun so there we go. So I want a, I want to make this nice floaty dress. I've got viscose sitting in my stash so I thought this would be the best use of the fabric. My Rob's mum gave me this pattern so I'm very grateful to her for that and it's about time I made it so here we are. This is what I want to make, option A, I think. I think I want to make option A. I'm looking at option C now. No, I think option A, I think option A. Yeah, option A, we're going with option A. It looks a bit more floaty to me, <laughs> but yes. Anyway, what I want to do is I want to, basically, I don't use, so here is the pattern. I don't cut out from the original pattern when I'm making something from a pattern. I will lay the pattern out, I will obviously measure myself, select my size, lay the pattern out and then I will put my own blank drafting paper over the top of the pattern. I will then trace the size that I would like and then I will cut out from my blank drafting paper that I've drawn on the size. The only reason I do that is because I like to keep the original pattern intact just in case my size changes at any point. So I've got a little bit of wiggle room. But yes, that's what I want to do for that. I do have the fabric here, actually. Um, this is just fabric stash. Um, but these are the fabrics. There are two fabrics. In fact, I also have this fabric. This is um, a jersey fabric. This is nothing to do with that dress, but I want to show you anyway. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? The fabric is called Galaxy, if I remember correctly, and I think it's gorgeous. And I really wanna make a Naya tee with it. So like that white t-shirt, the really oversized white t-shirt that I wore the other day, I think this would look really nice as that. So, you know, anyway, that's plan for another day. The fabric choices I have for that dress, this is fabric choice one. It is a, both of these are viscose and it's beautiful. I may need to make a slip under this one though because it's a little bit thin. But that's the whole point of making this dress is that it's gonna be thin fabric, light, floaty, thin fabric, and it's gonna keep me cool on those warm days. But yes, that is fabric choice number one. And fabric choice number two is this one. This was from a So Haley Jane box, and it's absolutely beautiful. I've got it upside down, haven't I? I don't know, have I? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, I had it upside down, sorry. <laughs> I better pay attention to that really when I'm actually using this fabric but it's beautiful so those are the two options for this dress there we are 
haven't decided yet, but the main plan today is just to at least cut out the pattern because then at least that's ready for whenever I need it. Let me just have a quick sip of my tea. And I have put down my, oh, there it is. <laughs> I'd lost my to-do list, hang on. Okay. Mm. Oh, tea, right, okay. Oh, and number six on my list, the final, I really was reaching for the stars yesterday, wasn't I? I wrote this list yesterday and yeah, whoops. Number six and the final is I'd like to finish my crochet yarn cozy. This yarn cozy is for a 50 gram cake and I just want to finish it now because I am not enjoying making this. Not something I say very often but I'm really not enjoying making this. It is really close to being finished so I'm going to finish it but yeah really not enjoying making it and I think it's because it is using fingering weight. This is West Green Loft Yarns, this is leftovers from my Find Your Fade? Yeah, Find Your Fade, sure. That's leftovers from, and I thought I'd make, because I had loads of leftovers of that, I thought I'd make a yarn cozy with it, but I'm really not enjoying it at all. It's front post, back post. And as I say, I think I'm just not enjoying it purely because of the thickness of the yarn. It's just very laborious and I'm not getting very far. Although I am nearly done now, so I'm gonna finish this one and then whenever I make yarn cozies in the future, I'm gonna knit them. I'm gonna go back to the knitted pattern because yeah, this pattern's just not for me but it looks really effective, it looks so good. Which is a shame that I don't enjoy making it because it does look really, really good. So yeah, I just wanna get it finished. Get it off the lead crochet hook even. So those are my plans, there are a few of them. I think just looking at the time, I'm gonna have some food because I thought I'd film before I have food. Probably a mistake because I'm always very tired when I don't have food, <laughs> so it's not a good idea. But I'm going to have some breakfast. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what my plans are after that. I will either sit outside, do a bit of knitting and then get my sewing machine out. Or I might just get my sewing machine out and might try and um, get as much of the puzzle mystery quilt done before we go and pick up the car. I'm not sure. I mean, it's a beautiful day and if I'm gonna go outside, I prefer to go out in the morning before it gets too hot because me and the heat do not mix. I am not a fan of heat, let me tell you. I much prefer the cold, I much prefer the snow. Um, so yeah, if I'm gonna go outside, it should be now. Anyway, <laughs> I am gonna get started on my to-do list and I will catch up with you in a little bit. just done some knitting. I'm keeping my voice down, it's still quite early, but I really wanted to show you some of our produce. Hang on. There we go. So these at the front are pak choy. This one's pretty big. It's pretty nice actually, really pleased with that one. And then at the back is just loads of lettuce. Um, it's feeling like it needs a drink, so I'll give that a water in a minute. But yeah, really, really pleased with these. They look great. We also have blueberries. Um, the flowers are just dropping off, so get some nice blueberries on there. And then over here, excuse the the these are spring. These were tulips. I need to cut them off. Some carrots in here, and then this is strawberry towers. I love strawberry towers, but as you can see, loads of flowers that are finishing. And we're starting to get some strawberries, so really, really pleased. Happy? Yes, something has been digging in my marigolds, so my marigolds are dead, and there's loads of muck all over the floor. 
lots to clean up and sort, but um, anyway, here we go. <laughs> Back to it. just a really really quick check-in I am now changed I uh, we are about to go out and get Rob's car so I need to get a wiggle on I didn't finish the puzzle mystery quilt it is still here I'm very very close though so hopefully we'll be able to finish that when we get back and then yeah carry on with everything else for the day but yes oh I'm a bit out of breath running around trying to get ready and everything but yes I am now in a dress it's a bit hot out there hence the dress but yes I I'd better get going so I'll speak to you all in a little bit. Hello everyone we are back from collecting Rob's new car it is beautiful it is also putting my car to shame because my car is filthy and his car is now sparkling it's beautiful so really really happy I now have my car back it was such a treat to drive home from the town and yeah we got back probably about well, it's half one now. Got back about one, I would probably say. Had some lunch. I have just finished sewing up the Puzzle Mystery Quilt Clue 4. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to do some on my sock, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. The day is creeping away with me. I've just spoke to my mum on the phone because we're going to go up and... Sorry. Yes, we are going to go up. I always forget which direction it is. We're going to go up and see them tomorrow and we're going to have tea with them so I'm really really excited about that last minute thing so it's even more exciting but yes that's the plan for tomorrow so now I'm going to knuckle down I'm going to set up my laptop I'm going to start editing the video to make sure that I can get this up to you for tomorrow morning um I need to open the windows because it's boiling in here check it out I'm in a dress can't remember if I showed you that but I am and it's really hot yeah it's really hot and I'm stood next to the beast he's rather large now he's on a table yeah you can kind of see that on a table next to the air purifier so if you can hear a humming that's what that is it's really loud um but there we are <laughs> such is life as we say so i'm going to carry on with what i'm doing i can't think there was anything else i wanted to tell you oh other than i have over stretched myself today my to-do list is far too big i am no way going to be able to do it all but i'm going to give it a fair go so i'm going to get stuck into the socks and I'm going to do some editing, so uh, I'll be back in a bit.
everyone, I am back for my final check-in of today. It is now nearly five o'clock, so I think that's a good point for me to give you my final update on how I got on with my list, my rather large list. I was extremely correct in thinking that, that I had overreached this week. Um, I think it was because I didn't really have anything that was, that really jumped out at me in terms of getting finished or progress or anything like that and I think maybe I got a little bit too ambitious uh, when I wrote the list on Friday so fair enough I'll, I'll take the hit today it's fine I still got a fair amount done so I'm still really happy and plus we did go out today and we did collect Rob's car so it's fine I have been doing some chores I, uh, you will have seen a little snippet of that and I was quite happy because in that video of putting the laundry out, you can just about see one of the red kites circling above. It's just towards the end if you wanted to go back and check the footage, but it's just above me, obviously in the sky, and you'll see the red kite circling. There are a couple that live around here. They're very beautiful and they tend to circle the house just at the back. It's very sweet, very sweet. Um, they're very, very nice. Obviously, birds of prey are very nice and it's just lovely to see them out and about, as you will. But anyway, let's get stuck in to letting you know how I actually got on with my list today. I haven't marked anything off, but I have everything and I can remember what I have done. So we're going to start with number one on the list and that was clue four of the puzzle mystery quilt. Now, I have finished this. I was very close to finishing. I was so close to finishing it when we had to leave to go and get the car. So it only took me a couple of minutes when we got back to finish it off. I also need to put the iron and the ironing board away because I haven't done that yet. I've only put whatever was on the table away, but I've not done that. I've just, re just realized, so that's fine. But anyway, here is the clue and here are my pieces. So the clue today was four of the same item. So let me just check, yeah, that's the right orientation. So this is the clue. So I have four pieces of these. My sewing isn't the best. You can probably see that this point does not join with the join very well at all. This one's not too bad actually, but yeah. Um, it wasn't the neatest today, I've got to say, but there are four of these, so there's one and there's two. I know one of these I did. Oh, it's this one. This one I did really well with a look at these joins here. So this point's pretty close to the join here, just about. And the same with this one here, pretty good. So I was really pleased with this particular one. And then we just have the other two as well. So there we go. Again, exactly the same pieces, just four of them. So that is clue four done as well. So I've done clues one to four all done so I can put this away now in my cupboard with the other pieces. I'm getting very excited to actually, we're nearly halfway aren't we? I've just realised nearly halfway, 10 months, 10 clues I believe. I'm not sure if the final clue is just, I haven't actually checked in the box, but I'm not sure if the final clue is just the final schematics and then the border because I did order an extra border kit just to make my quilt just a smidge bigger. But yes, there is clue four. Really happy and I'm absolutely loving making this quilt. This is the Puzzle Mystery Quilt by Cotton Cuts and it's the Tree of Life. I totally forgot to tell you which one it is. The colourways that I went for was Tranquil. I don't think I've actually shown that too often, but that's the colourways I went for. I thought they were really nice, these beautiful greens and sort of greys, whites. I just thought it was really, really unusual and yeah, really pleased with how it's looking. So that is the Puzzle Mystery Quilt. I can tick that off my list. I will do it right now. Tick, there we go. Right, the second item on the list I have not even touched. It is Finish Feathers on Wing 2 of the Frizzle Chicken. I've not even touched the Frizzle Chicken. In fact, it's still here in the bag, not touched. I just didn't fancy it today. Obviously on Friday I thought, yes, I'm going to nail it. I think Friday I actually sat and I started that first row of the second wing and then I also sewed in loads of ends from the prior wing. So it kind of was on my mind to do it. So I think that's why it ended up on the list. But no, I've done absolutely nothing on it. So that's a big no. The next item on the list is finish sock one of Pride socks. Now, 
this one I'm happy with. So here we are. Ta-da! I have finished sock one of my pride socks. I need, look, I have big feet, all right? So I need to buy some new blockers because I think these are the, these might be the small blockers. I can't remember what size they are. They might actually be the medium. But I think I've also done this toe a little bit. I think I finished and started decreasing for the toe a little bit late. So I think it might be a little bit big for me, but hey, it is what it is. But I absolutely love them. Look at these. I'm really pleased with this end toe as well because I was umming and ahhing as to whether to change back to this colour for the toe but actually no I'm really happy that I didn't and the um the self-striping actually worked quite nicely it didn't change too much so I'm really really happy with that as you can see this beautiful um it's all right my, my screen that I can see what you're seeing is down here that's why I'm looking down here if ever you see that but that beautiful cabling it's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Here you can see that mini gusset ready for the fish lips kiss heel. Now, the fish lips kiss, kiss heel, I have tried these on. They fit really nice. As I say, I think my toe is just a little bit long, but that's fine, I can deal with it. The fish lips kiss heel actually fits really nice. I was really unsure about it, but it fits really nice on my feet. So I think I just need to figure out different I need to play with it a little bit more I think and plus obviously this is self-striping yarn so I was just trying to keep the stripes it actually looks all right doesn't it I'm looking at it in my little screen down there it looks all right with that block of color here it doesn't look too bad does it but I am so happy with these they are the other side is just stuck in it it's plain really happy with these I'm so happy that the first sock is done so now I can cast on for the second start sock I might do that this afternoon actually um, when I finish filming. I know that's not on my list, but second sock syndrome. So I want to make sure that I actually get it cast on because yeah, I want to make sure that I can get these finished sooner than later, more than anything. But that is a very big tick I have done. I've even finished off the toe. Obviously I've not sewn the ends in, but look, that's just how it is. Oh my gosh. So right, the, <laughs> oh, it's a highlight, it's okay. Um, we're watching the WEC. The WEC is at Spa today and it's the six hour race and there's been quite a large crash. Everyone's fine, it's all good, but they've just shown a highlight of it and I was just panicking thinking that they'd restarted the race and they'd had another crash, but no, it's fine. It's all good. Okay, when I say it's all good, it's never fun having a crash, is it? Uh, sorry, I'm getting totally distracted. Anyway, right, let's carry on. Item number four on my list is finish square on sweet shop blankets and pick up for the next. Now I didn't think I'd be able to do this, but surprise, I have actually managed it. Look, oh gosh, that didn't go to plan, did it? I have managed it. So this was the square you saw me working on this morning. I have since finished it and I have picked up stitches for the next colour and I've actually started it a little bit. You can just about see that there, just a little bit there. Well, I hope you can see it. I can't see what you're seeing, but that is where I'm at, so big tick on that job. It is done, which I'm really pleased about. I've just noticed some stitches are very loose. No, that's just me. But yeah, I'm really happy that that is coming along quite nicely. Once this is finished, I'm gonna have so much time. <laughs> it's amazing. But it was really nice knitting on this this morning, actually, because I, as you'll have seen in the footage, I was sitting outside and the blanket is actually big enough now to cover my lap. So it was quite nice because it was still, there was a little bit of a chill in the air outside when I sat outside and knitted this morning so it's quite nice to have it on me so the sooner I can finish this the better because otherwise I'm going to be too warm to work on it if that makes sense um, I'll only be able to work on it at this table because then it can rest on the table rather than on me and overheating me but yes anyway that is oh gosh that is big tick because that is done I did not think I'd be able to do that today to be honest in fact I didn't think I'd be able to do either the sock all that today, so I'm really pleased with myself. The next item on the list is measure and cut out for dress, which is this one. I haven't done it. Um, I decided that it's just gonna be a little bit too much today. And then I thought, in my wisdom, I'll do it tomorrow instead, but we're actually going out tomorrow now, so I might be able to slip it in. I might be able to go for a run, and then I can probably have a little look at it. I'll see how I feel tomorrow, but that one is not done. The final item on the list is Finnish Yarn Cozy Crochet version. No, 
is the answer to that. I've done nothing on it, to be honest. It is still at the state it was in this morning. Yeah, I just don't feel any desire to work on it, if I'm honest. I mean, I know once I actually start working on it and I'm working on it, it will obviously get bigger, but it's just the thought of working on it at the minute. But it is so close. There's no reason why I can't just finish it. I think it's just gonna take me a little bit longer because I am gonna keep putting it off for more fun things. So that is the state of the Yarn Cozy Light. No, the Yarn Cozy Crochet version. So yeah, nothing done on that either. So all in all, if I show you my little list, there we go. I've done three out of six, which to be fair, looking at this list, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. I should have put a marker in these as to where I got to because I can't remember where I got to when I started knitting them again. I think it was probably around, no, it can't have been. I, I don't know. I don't know where I was, but you will know better than I because you will have just seen the footage um, that I took this morning so you'll have a better idea of where I was. If I show you the heart, that was where I was at the last podcast. So obviously I've done all of that, which is great. So yeah, I can't remember where I was this morning. As I said, I need to record that a bit better, but yes, I have finished it, I'm so happy. So yes, as I say, all in all, not too bad. I did better than I thought when I looked at the list again this morning and thought, oh my gosh, what was I thinking yesterday? I must have been thinking, I am gonna nail it, but yes. That is what I have done today. I hope that you have enjoyed the video. Thank you for joining me. And yeah, that is all I have for you today. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of the weekend. I hope you've got a lovely week planned. Even if you're at work, I hope you've got some lovely evenings planned for after work. Thank you once again so, so much for watching. It always means the absolute world to me. I hope you have, again, a wonderful rest of the day and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.